Hello, Dr. Brian Davis, Superintendent for Holland Public Schools, coming to you today to share with you some recent thoughts I've had about what should school look like this fall in 2020 when we return to school. Certainly, in my opinion, it should not be business as usual. In fact, it should be business as unusual. We are now six weeks removed from school, two weeks into our remote learning plan, and an opportunity exists for us to think about what do we relinquish, what do we reimagine, and what do we retool for the future? I'd like to share with you five different categories that have been put together to assist our Holland Public Schools community in that very effort. Retooling, reimagining, and relinquishing things from the past as we look forward to the future of education in our school district. First and foremost, we want to engage and talk about what parent and family engagement looks like as parents have had to take on an increasingly role of a teacher at home during this remote learning time. Secondly, we want to be able to talk about what does spring and summer learning look like for some of our most vulnerable learners, recognizing that the summer slide is a real thing and recognizing during this unique summer of 2020, we're going to have to encourage and support learners in their continued learning efforts. Thirdly, we want to be able to look at what does a new hybrid model of learning potentially look like, not just in the fall, but into the future long term. How do we bring together the teams of teachers and support staff and administrators who have been collaborating for the past three to four weeks together to develop a new plan for now, but to develop a new plan for the future. Certainly in an era of social distancing where our practices of engaging with one another have changed significantly, we need to talk about what building management looks like into the future. So bringing together individuals that can begin to identify what supports are needed there and how do we manage large groups, events, and activities. And finally, it's no secret that during this pandemic and stay at home, shelter in place, ruling and executive orders, the economy has been impacted in a very negative way. Sales tax revenues are down, people are driving less, pumping less gasoline, and income taxes are low. So we anticipate there's going to be a significant shortfall in the general fund and subsequently the school aid fund as we move forward. So the time is now for us to begin to look at what are those programs and practices we might have to selectively abandon? What may need to be put on pause? And how do we ensure we bring forward the educational excellence that people have grown to come and expect in our school district? Over the next several weeks, champions of each of these areas will be identifying team members across the district and across our community to be able to engage in this thoughtful work and bring forward recommendations to our Board of Education. So the reason that I'm sharing this with you today in early May is because we are going to extend an invitation to you from our champions of each of these different areas to engage in this work together. This is gonna be very important and your voice is important to this process. So please engage with us and help us define our future for Holland Public Schools.